café anyway. Mike Staley Podcast. Hey, here's a little recording tip for all you people that get all fancy schmancy and want to make a podcast. If you have a Windows 10 Mike's Daily Podcast operating computer, you have to go into settings and then look for the microphone and then below it, it might be hard for you to own where it is because it's device properties when you click on that then you can adjust the volume everything's great and it's wonderful and sweet and life is full of happy pleasantries it's the sound section i guess mike's daily podcast under microphone i think i found it anywho i'm doing this at mike's daily podcast with this very mike's specific and technical daily way i have rigged up this podcast technological system yeah that allows me to record this podcast for you daily, which is what I try to do, a daily podcast for you. What I would like to tell you is that Fauci is on the case. Fauci debunks the theories of low CDC coronavirus death toll. And he goes, I don't know what's happening. Here. Is that how he talks? He defends the coronavirus death toll numbers after the Trump questions the tally and so he is you know once again fighting what Trump is saying meanwhile my mom has a Trump sign on her front yard it is that kind of a world we live in everybody because it's now very political and everybody's like ah and we have to do, try to communicate with one another in a way that's rational that will allow us to hey somebody just threw something in my face that wasn't cool at cafe anyway i wasn't even being political i was talking about people trying to be political and how we need to all talk about stuff and and work it out in mike's happy little world hey it's ff episode 2114 2114 i am trying to look up feverishly and here's today's I have to do it through my phone, and the podcast picture is not a picture of my phone. In fact, it is a picture of another wonderful moment from our trip in Benicia, my lovely lady friend and I, as we walked around this area. Just, it's like in between Benicia and Vallejo. There's this beautiful park that's right on the water. And see that picture now at MikeSillyPodcast.com. It was despite all the smoke and ick in the air. We enjoyed ourselves, and you need to enjoy yourself. And uh, Niners Nation, here we go. So, the 415 podcast. Unfortunately, Basil was not able to listen to this show. But you can tell he's mad that he didn't. No, he's listening to this podcast, the 415 Nation, episode 3, where the host of the show speaks with someone that he knew back in Seattle. And I think Basil would really enjoy this podcast. So you can check that out at Google Play, iTunes, or wherever you find your podcasts. Don't you love that? Here's a question. It's so so redundant and rote. Rote. I get so sick of things that are rote. That's the perfect word. Rote. What are you writing about, Mike? No, it's rote. For example, hi, I'm the owner of a very large company and we're starting a new service. We're going to jump in where the other Fang stock people have done amazing things. We're going to copy them. For example, I'm Walmart and I'm looking at Amazon. It's a Fang stock, F-A-N-G. That stands for Fast Amorous Negotiating Greens Fang Fast Awesome Negotiating Greens So What Fang Actually that stands For The F The the, the company that starts With the F Which you may or may not Have blocked out of your memory Just drop the the Just Facebook That's right Then there's Amazon Sometimes they throw in their Apple And then there would be N, which is Netflix, and G, which is Google. And the A could also be uh, Alphabet. Wait, did I say that? So the A stands for three 
companies. Alphabet owns Google. There's Amazon and Apple. So it's a fang. And so Walmart says, I look at you, Amazon, and I can do one better. I'm going to create my own website that will do exactly what you do. And I'm going to come up with a really snazzy name. Should I be called Walmart, not Apple? Should I be Walmart copying Apple? Should I be, or Amazon? Should I be Walmartazon? Nope, I'll just be Walmart Plus. Yes. Thank you, Walmart Plus. You went, really went that extra mile to come up with that complicated, groundbreaking name, Rote. You've been, <laughs> you've been Rote. Um, hey, what other handheld sound effects can I use today? No. Can I do one more? No. Please, just one more? No. Oh, why are you like that? Be my best friend. This is my last word. No! Seems to be a word he likes. Okay, let's go to Disney. Hey, I'm Disney. I want to be Netflix. I want to be bigger than Netflix. Should I call myself D- Disneyflix? Should I call myself Disnet? Should I? D- Disney comes up with the worst names for things. I am so hooked on Defunct Land and Yesterworld, and they love to poke fun at. Michael Eisner, who had, like, the worst ideas. Although he made a bunch of money for the, for the company. That's true. He did have... He was the CEO during all of the big movies in the early 90s, like Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid, and what's the other one? Lion King. And all those others. So, yes, there was a big resurgence because of Michael Eisner. But he could come up with some really boring snooze ideas, rote ideas. So what does Disney do? Disney wants to be Netflix, so they call themselves Disney Plus. Then, before all of them all, as we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. We're actually in Podcastro Valley today. Then you've got another fang stock. You've got Google. But Google wants to be a different fang stock. It wants to be Facebook. Hey, I'm Google. I can be better than Facebook. So what will I call myself? Google book. Actually, there is the Chromebook. Google, let's see. I will be, what will I come up with? I don't know. Should I be Satan? No, should I be Face Goog? Oh, that doesn't sound good at all, does it? It doesn't sound Goog at all. It's bad. Think it's, do you think it's a good idea? No! So it should be called... We're going to call it Google Plus. And as you know, last year, they completely pulled Google Plus. Google Plus is completely gone. They sent you an email, a Gmail, or something like that saying, Hey, we're taking it away from you. Google typically does this all the time. They'll have something and then they take it away. Uh, there was this. There was a thing called Google Reader. They took that away and just made it part of your phone. It's it's because they're the Borg and they adapt to whatever's going on. So they saw, oh hey, we 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 started a whole phone network, which it went up against Apple, and successfully created the Droid operating system. And I guess I've said all I can say about this. They just have no imagination. Google Plus bombed. I, somewhere, maybe, there's a Google Plus page for this Mike's Daily Podcast. But it, uh, it, it just didn't work. So, to sum up, Plus is boring. Stop calling your brand new, I'm going to compete against another Fang stock idea with just Plus. Even though Disney Plus and Walmart Plus are probably going to be really successful. Or Disney Plus has already been successful. My point is, I wanted to tell you today as I was driving into work oh so early, I heard on a local radio station, a news station, and the news report was simply that there are more diseases and things coming from the coronavirus than just what we know. Coronavirus causes hair loss. 
coronavirus causes memory loss. That's what the story said. It's sort of like that really early, early Saturday Night Live skit where they're like, it's a floor wax. It's also a great ice cream topping. Dan Aykroyd did it back when he was super skinny and young. And so it's like that. They're saying coronavirus. It causes the soft part of your skull to collapse. It makes your baby small. No, wait, that's the other disease. Your baby's head small. It's uh, the thing that it causes your car to stop working completely. And then it gets tractor beamed up into a UFO. It does all these terrible things. So I just think it's a ridiculous... It, you knew it was done by a questionable radio station... That wants to get ratings No, not one of the ones I work for But they want to get ratings So they pull these kind of pranks These scary shock stories Oh my gosh, coronavirus Don't get coronavirus Not that I'm saying you should get coronavirus But perhaps you have had it But it does not cause hair loss I am not a doctor I do not know that I do not have hair My hair loss did not come from coronavirus It came from something called genetics And when your mom's dad And your dad's dad And then your dad I got dadded out of having hair No Mike No hair for you Goodbye Although when I did have hair I had this wonderful brownish red hair It was weird It was fiery It was kind of just fuego Muy fuego on my curly hair Head of hair Back when I had a fro It was a frogo A frog Fro yo Fuego Okay We're outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth I I feel good about today's show I know I'm gonna get critiqued I get critiqued every day now Thanks to the wonderful phone number 336-MM-DAILY That's 3 plus 3 equals 6-MM As in Mike Matthews Daily Isn't what this podcast tries to be You can text that number too And tell me what you think about any of the topics we covered today but I just get, you know, great input. And I love it when, when I get input from people, just feedback. Or as I used to say, feedback. Look who's out here. Hello, Michael Masters, it's Madame Rutabaga, and I love to get feedback too. Oh! I love your hair today. Did you do your hair yourself? Yes. Do, that perfume smells really good. Did you find that perfume yourself, or did it get thrown on you by someone? Did you find it yourself? Yes. Did you think that was a good question? No. No. Look who else is here. Hello, dear Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? No, but I think your little expression, Bison Bentley, is classic. I wonder if you could come up with a different expression. Let's say, for example, it, do you have a, a question for me if I eat a lot of fattening foods? Yeah, Mike, I would say, do you grow fat? (laughs) Do I grow fat? (laughs) No, I like your other one better. I forget what it is. What is it? Yeah, Mike, it's a good one. It's, do you know that? Thank you. Guys, always a pleasure. Valentino, what can you do for me and my Saturn view that is deteriorating I can't drive it anymore because of the dang thing. It won't pass smog. Do you know of anybody else out there that likes Saturn views? Is there a Saturn view appreciation club out there somewhere? Yeah, Mike, I'll get on that right away. As I'm outside of the cafe anyway in the parking lot. D. I'll look at a car, see if I can find another Saturn view. D. And this guy will follow me around. What's your name? This is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? I guess he didn't know that. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floor Man, and John Deere the Engineer. Thank you for listening to FF episode 2114. 2114. Oh, I will have to do a YouTube video in post. You can check out all the Mike's Daily Podcast YouTube videos. The video clips at youtube.com slash Mike's Daily Podcast. But here's A-Frame with all the rest of the stuff you need to know. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find.
Find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.